watching Bachelor Cook TV. Today we're here at r and Soul Food Restaurant in Carson, California. Smothered chicken was absolutely delicious. It was fried to a crispy golden brown, and then it was drenched and smothered in gravy. And one thing I do notice is that in the southern region of the United States, it's usually a country gravy, which is white and more thick, as opposed to the brown gravy that they use here. It was absolutely delicious, this gravy, though. It wasn't too thick, and it wasn't too thin. It was the right amount of consistency, and it was just the perfect dish. And when you're doing smothered chicken, you want to make sure you fry the chicken very well, golden brown, because you're going to be putting gravy on top of the bat chicken. So when you do that, you want to make sure it's fried crispy, so that way the gravy doesn't make it really soggy. If you don't fry it enough, it's kind of wet, and you get that wet fried chicken, but you want a very crispy, golden fried fried chicken for the smothered chicken. I also had the potato salad. With the potato salad, it's very easy to mess up a dish like this. It was very, it had a lot of zing and zang and zestiness to it, and it was a little sweet, but not overly sweet. So it was a great potato salad, great picnic dish, um, and in order to achieve that, you want to add a little bit of like lemon zest sometimes to your potato salad, even orange zest or lime, and it gives it a nice little zang or flavor to it. Um, you probably wouldn't expect me to talk or think about talking about a dish like this, but I have to tell you, my brother is really, really picky when it comes to potato salad. This right here, he would have loved every single bite of it. If you're ever in the Carson, California area and you're looking for some great down-home cooked food, I definitely would check out r, &R Soul Food Restaurant. Oh, 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 oh